what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going for something more personal for a change today. And I'm about to tell you how a couple of toys and a mobile phone helped me kickstart this channel as told through the lenses of the new Samsung Galaxy A21. Okay game, um, quick chika lang to, just so you know how this channel started and hopefully it can also inspire people to create content kahit na limited lang yung equipment nila like me. So here's the story. Unknown to many, I actually have hobbies outside work and blogging. Some people think I'm a full-time content creator but no, I have a day job. And I also have other hobbies na it takes up a lot of my time but I don't get to share it online all the time. Before, I thought that if you don't have a camera, your photos are not like Instagram worthy or worthy of sharing on social media because the content I'll be able to put out would just look mediocre. So that's not the case and ito yung ginawa ko. Even before I officially started my YouTube channel with weekly videos, I've already had collectibles. May that be a free toy from a fast food meal or a collectible from Japan. We've been collecting that since we were kids but I only had the guts to share this publicly during the start of the quarantine period after I tried experimenting on taking a video of myself building micro blocks of Adventure Time characters. So that's where Cess Play started. So for fun lang talaga lahat yon. Actually, after watching someone mush her head on different types of bread for YouTube content, na inspire ako. I thought if someone could do that as a weekly or monthly content for her YouTube channel, why can't I share my other collections or hobbies on my channel as well? So that's where it all started. I believe that sharing my collection and my entire journey of collecting to the entire world or publicly online kind of helps me show my authentic self outside the tech and lifestyle videos or content that I put out. Before, I was so scared to do so because I think a lot of people are very judgy when it comes to people's hobbies. They think that collecting is a waste of time and money and they just don't understand why people are happy to have these things. So yeah, I started this channel without a camera or a ring light as in wala. So I had to rely on sunlight and a quiet spot at home. I only had a small microphone to help me record my audio and I just used a mobile phone. With only a mobile phone, a tripod, and a collectible in hand, I gave it a go. Pahabang flashlight lang talaga yung gamit ko before for light source and I had to rely on sunlight from the window. I had to rely on a mobile phone because my camera has audio issues so, ang tip ko for those who want to try creating content, creating videos for YouTube, just give it a go. As long as you have a smartphone that has a decent camera, you're ready to go. The one that I'm using now has 48MP main camera, 8MP ultra wide lens, 2 megapixels depth, and 2 megapixels macro lens. So, that's already good enough for creating videos and photos for your channel or your page. In front naman, it has 13 megapixels of selfie camera for days when I wanted to snap a selfie. So, pwedeng pwede na siya. Since we're stuck at home, actually, yung start ng quarantine yung nag-push sa akin to make these videos out of the limited equipment that I have. I also felt like I have to amp up my skills that will be beneficial for work. So, I experimented with my Funko Pops and figures. I use them as a mobile photography subject since our house is surrounded by buildings so hindi talaga siya scenic view. These small items became my inspiration to practice making GIFs, short video clips, and even kickstart my channel and view unboxing videos. The Galaxy A21 has more than enough memory anyway to keep all my files and videos intact. Plus it also has 5000 mAh of battery which is already good enough for an entire day of non-stop content creation. I'm currently practicing instant editing as well through apps like Snapseed and PixArt so I can instantly share photos without needing to open my laptop. It is possible and ngayon ko lang yun nalaman. I do this as I watch other creators step-by-step -step videos or browse through YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter for inspiration. Initially, I wanted to publish videos every other week lang in order to stall until I get a decent camera, microphone, all those type of equipment. But then, I realized that okay lang pala kahit mobile phone lang yung gamit ko. So here I am now with a weekly Cess Place video. So that's every Monday and even a tech or lifestyle content sometime within the week. So parang two 
videos in a week na tayo. Actually, nadagdagan lang yung equipment ko ng ring light, which I would gladly share in my next video. And in terms of editing naman, I edit via laptop. But I'm sure for those who have limited equipment as well, you can also edit your videos via your mobile phone. There are apps out there like Kinemaster or Kinemaster. So it's, a, it's an app where you can edit your videos on the go. That's something you can easily do if you have a phone with a large display. So let's say mga 6.5 inch, that's already okay. I'm not the best in the things that I do, but sharing what I know to the world kind of gives me a sense of fulfillment. But yeah, I just do it for fun and for the love of my craft. Which reminds me, if you want to know more about the backstory of how I became a content creator or a blogger, I have an episode at the Creator Life Podcast. You can listen to that. I shared how Manila Millennial began and why I'm creating videos at the moment. And in case you need equipment recommendations for your vlog or your photography needs for mobile, I'll be sharing that on manilamillennial.com so don't forget to drop by. So that's it for today's quick story time. Quick chika lang talaga, sabi ko sa inyo. So I just really wanted to share the beginnings of this YouTube channel and why I did this. For more tech, toy, and lifestyle updates, don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash sesdemalanta. We have new content every week, so subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye!